Georgia, thank you so much for welcoming me to Rome and uh, it's always great to be back here and uh, many congratulations to you on your uh, appointment as the Prime Minister of Italy. Uh, I look forward to working closely with you and I also welcome your strong personal commitment to NATO, to our transatlantic alliance between North America and uh, Europe. And it is important that we work closely together, especially at this uh, critical moment uh, for our security. Italy is um, one of the founding uh, members of our alliance and you play a key role in the NATO alliance. European security is being challenged. Uh, President Putin is waging a brutal war of aggression against uh, Ukraine. But we have seen how the Ukrainian armed forces have been able to push back Russian forces and liberate territory. These gains belong to the brave, courageous soldiers of Ukraine. At the same time, the unprecedented support that NATO allies, including Italy, has provided uh, is making a difference on the battlefield every day and remains vital for the Ukrainian progress. We have taken note of the Russian announcement to retreat from Kherson. We have uh, to see how the situation on the ground develops in the coming days. But what is clear is that Russia is under heavy pressure. And if they leave Kherson, it would be another victory for Ukraine. Italy stands shoulder to shoulder with other allies to keep the peace in Europe and to support Ukraine for as long as it takes. Italy leads uh, NATO's new uh, multinational battle group in Bulgaria and your troops serve with NATO forces in Latvia. Italian jets uh, keep the skies safe uh, with NATO air policing from the Black Sea uh, to the high north. Your ships are part of NATO's patrols in the Mediterranean and beyond. And you provide the commander of our K4 peacekeeping mission in Kosovo, building stability in the Western Balkans. And an Italian uh, commander leads NATO's training mission in Iraq, helping Iraqi forces counter terrorism. Italy also hosts many important uh, NATO facilities including Joint Force Command uh, in Naples and our Alliance Ground Surveillance Force in Sigonella. I welcome uh, the important contributions Italy is making to help Ukraine uphold its right to self-defense. You have given uh, hundreds of uh, millions of euros uh, worth of humanitarian and financial support to Ukraine. Today, in our meeting, we also discussed uh, challenges coming from the south. NATO is vigilant. With our Sea Guardian operation, we regularly uh, are patrolling in the Mediterranean, uh, a mission uh, to help counter illegal migration in the Aegean, and capacity building for our partners in the Middle East and North Africa. In a more dangerous world, and more unpredictable world, it is essential that all allies continue to invest in defense. So, Prime Minister Meloni de Georgia, thank you for uh, your strong uh, commitment to our transatlantic alliance. Italy can always count on NATO, and I know NATO can always count on Italy. So, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Secretary Stoltenberg, forgive me if I do something which is not. Uh, you will forgive me if I do something which is not uh, a ritual. Uh, you probably know that Alessia Piperno is coming back home, so I wanted to thank uh, our intelligence service, uh, the Under Secretary Mantovano, and the Ministry for Foreign Affairs uh, for the wonderful work and silent and quiet work they've done to bring this girl back home. And I'm sorry for uh, stepping in on this. Thank you very much and, and have a pleasant day. Picture. You need to take a picture.